Hello, we are gamers. Salmedin here. So today we will test Wi-Fi 6 router by TP-Link, and it's called AX73, and it's very good router actually. Uh, I was searching for some tests between this router and and Quest 3, but I couldn't find. And I just take a look on paper on specification, and I decided to buy on blind. So okay, I say. If I don't like, if it doesn't work very well, I will return it back. But actually, it's very good router with combination uh, with virtual desktop, actually. Because on the beginning, uh, I, when I bought Quest 3 one month ago, I also bought the link cable and it was not so much good. They was results they was not good because there was very poor performance and very bad picture quality. Even if I, I, I tested the cable, it it was 2.5 gigabits per second, but and I maxed it out uh, resolution in Oculus app, but again the picture was not so sharp. But virtual desktop it gives you so much options to optimize your your Quest 3 for your machine, and also now when I test link cable and Wi-Fi 6 router. I see that actually picture quality and resolution with virtual desktop it's way way much much better than than with link cable and here is my RTX 3080 so actually my point is to not change the graphics card to not change the GPU and uh, for less money to be happy and have a good performance in Microsoft Flight Simulator this that that the first on the first place for me and also in other games. So today we will test in Half-Life Alex and in Microsoft Flight Simulator. So we will see the results, how the connection is stable and how many FPS and also my settings in virtual desktop. So let's jump there and see what we got. Okay, here we are in virtual desktop. As you can see, this app, it's really awesome and Yes, those are my settings on Visual Desktop Streamer on my PC. So as you can see, preferred codec is HEP 10-bit, OpenXR runtime is BDXR, and all other settings actually I didn't touch. So yes, and also here in uh, Virtual Desktop app on my uh, Quest 3, those are settings, actually environment, you can choose what you want, and games, input, actually here i didn't touch anything settings those settings are for uh here an environment in virtual desktop that, that i'm using right now so auto connect uh environment quality is high and 72 fps 13 megabits per second and all other these settings actually they are i think by default so yes but streaming this is very important so those are my settings for gaming from playing games and for Microsoft Live Simulator so as you can see VR graphics quality is on godlike yes godlike and VR frame rate is 90 fps actually this is the sweet spot for my machine uh, VR bit rate is 120 I will, I will explain you why sharpening is 75% gamma 1.09 uh, SSV is always enabled because it gives me much much better performance also snapdragon game super resolution also enabled video buffering track controllers uh, increased color vibrance increased video nominal range actually i didn't like makes dark color dar darker and bright colors brighter actually i didn't like and show performance overlay also is enabled here you can use godlike but vr bitrate it must be maximum 120 130 if you go above that you will have crashed the desktop so actually when i put code like uh, and when i put 250 or 260 microsoft Flight simulator just crashed and yes you can use 200 megabits per second uh, vr bitrate but you can use only maximum to ultra so not code like but code like textures and resolution it's it, it's it's really nice and clear and sharp picture so actually those are my optimal settings for my 
RTX 3080. Here they say got like RTX 4090, but it, it it will work also with 3080. Just lower PR bitrate, and you are ready to go. Now we will launch Steam VR, and we will go to to test. Ah, okay, I didn't actually. I was I was logged out, so I will log in. okay so we are in steam vr and yes there is the menu so we will choose half-life alex first game for testing as you can see here a performance overlay frame rate 90 fps latency bitrate so you have all necessary data here on this performance overlay here and now we will test half-life alex so we will see how the, how much connection connection is stable and all other informations so yes your sense of overcoming level is gameplay may be affected no it will work it's working very well so let's go continue and yes I mean textures there it's so sharp everything okay this is really good thing I mean with those settings you can see 90 FPS connection is pretty stable actually actually I'm I'm two meters and half almost three meters from my router so actually uh let's double tap connection is very stable as you can see 2401 megabits and game 9 milliseconds 59 milliseconds latency 90 fps so everything is so sharp so clear very good field of view i mean i was using hp reverb g2 for two years and trust me the different the difference is huge between HP Reverb G2 and Quest 3. This is really amazing. I mean, all these texture, textures, tex textures and details, and it's really awesome. Now we will go a little bit. In fact, I, I, I'm playing this game every day, so I just stop here. So we will continue my gameplay. And there are some fire shots over there. Okay, this guy. I kill him and we are reloading it's so nice graphics so clear picture okay come on I'm waiting for you okay oh the table Okay, I kill him. So let's take some ammunition. So as you can see on overlay, actually connection is very stable, 2041, 2400. And it's, it stays like that where I am in the room. Okay, let's go a little bit far from my table. So yes actually the half-life is working very nice very smooth no stuttering no lag so everything is so smooth oh this is the very good combination for now with half-life alex tp link ax73 and quest 3 with virtual desktop this is so good so yes let's jump now in microsoft flight simulator to see what we get there okay here we are in microsoft flight simulator and we are on tvat i port in cessna by milways uh, 310 air so this is the microsoft flight simulator this is the performance overlay and as you can see fps latency 
and all other data. So I put the clouds so that I can I can make heavier for my machine and for VR. So let's uh, lower the flaps. Yes, they are already for takeoff, and we will make one short turn takeoff and landing so to make measure for performance and as you can see I think this is this working very well so I'm searching for my instruments down because but anyway the quest 3 is very good for one thing because I can double tap I can check my instruments here and set up the autopilot or altitude and anything and i can go back with double tap again and here i am in the microsoft flight simulator <laughs> yes that's the very good option with quest 3. <coughs> anyway here's the fps and now i'm two meters from my router and as you can see the connection is very stable so it's stick it with 2401 megabits and yes tbot airport clouds and everything details they're on high some 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 of them they're on ultra and <clears throat> this is the i'm i'm turning around my head and it's very smooth there is no even stutters there's no even stuttering it's so smooth so actually and textures they're so sharp and i can see from here all numbers and letters on my instruments on my panel so yes with virtual desktop and good router you can have very good experience with quest 3 very good picture quality very sharp and crystal so yes actually microsoft flight simulator is working very well also so i think this is enough for testing to realize that if microsoft flight Simula simulator will work very well with this combination with this router and quest and with virtual desktop of course i think all other applications they will they will work without any problems okay lower the we will ah landing gears i forgot to <laughs> put them up okay they're already down I, I i realized that when i put the flaps down and i see that there is no warning for landing gear okay so yes as you can see everything is working fine so uh, yes, about my settings in Microsoft Flight Simulator and everything, how I optimize my sim to work very well on Quest 3 with RTX 3080. I will show you guys in my next video. Maybe it will be exactly next one or maybe after some days. But anyway, this is absolutely perfect. Yes, so... That was it for today and uh, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.